Spanish Immersion Retreat. It grew out of an idea that uh, one of our adjunct professors, Jim Hillen, had a number of years ago. Uh, the idea was that many of us who are in uh, teaching don't have either the time or the resources to go abroad every year to maintain our fluency in our language and how wonderful it would be if we had an extended time to get together and to speak Spanish at a higher level than that at which we teach. We'd been to a lot of conferences where they had uh, sessions in English uh, with Spanish teachers there. I thought, wouldn't it be great to have a conference where Spanish was spoken the whole time? You know, you can listen to Spanish on the radio and listen to it on TV, but this is interaction where we're talking to each other and getting each other's feedback, everything in Spanish. It is great to be spending time with um, our colleagues, you know, a lot of adjunct faculty attend, and also other faculty from other colleges and high schools. It just represents a very nice time where we can actually be together and be speaking the language. So this is the first opportunity I get to kind of get away for a weekend with my colleagues and also meet some area folks who teach Spanish and just immerse myself in Spanish and do some fun things. It's meeting a lot of different people from a lot of different areas with a lot of different experiences. One of the things I found very gratifying also is seeing the range of ages. So we have a professor emeritus here with us today, also some very young teachers out in the field. So I think that's very, very neat. You know, Spanish is such a, a, a beautiful language that's spoken in so many parts of the world that I couldn't possibly ever learn all the vocabulary there is to learn. So I think that's pretty fun to just kind of pick up a new word here, a new word there. I'm learning new words. I'm learning a lot of new cultural traditions and people from these other uh, countries are teaching me about their culture. And so in addition to the language, I'm learning so much more. They can always come up to me and ask me questions about the culture, about the language. And, um, you know, we just have a good time. We can practice uh, vocabulary at a higher level. For me, it is a wonderful way to spend time. Probably my absolute favorite thing actually has just been talking with everybody else in Spanish and meeting all these uh, Spanish teachers from you know, all over the world and you know, a lot of them from here, but all of them with a lot of great ideas and I'm learning just an incredible amount of things and I've already made all kinds of friends and so far it's been a wonderful experience. We devised a program of listening activities, uh, speaking activities, guest speakers, movies, games, a little bit of everything and plus interaction throughout the entire weekend in Spanish. And it's a wonderful chance for us to not only get to know each other as colleagues, but also to maintain and, and even better our language ability. It was great not only for instructors from throughout Kansas, 
but also uh, for advanced students. It's a fantastic opportunity for them to speak Spanish and interact with others. I am a student of Johnson County Community College. Well, I've been taking classes for a couple years now. I have enjoyed the opportunity to live, think, eat, breathe Spanish completely. So there aren't many opportunities like that um, back home. It's a lot of money to go <laughs> overseas, so this is nice to have a weekend to be with others who love Spanish. I'm totally impressed with the activities and the facilities. The people are so nice and it's been great to be able to practice my Spanish. Since I teach elementary students, I don't get as much practice as I would like with past tense and imperfect and some of the more sophisticated speaking. So in order to be a really good Spanish speaking teacher, I wanted to really practice for a couple of days with hispanohablantes, with Spanish speakers. This is a great time uh, to feel relaxed and to just to be able to use the language. I am very happy to be able to use my language the whole time. For example, and that was an error that I had to learn a golpe, no? Because I no, yo no lo sabía. Hasta que mis estudiantes me hicieron consciente. This morning we did a game and we did some trivia and. I think more than anything else, I've liked having conversations with different people and learning about their experiences too, because you know, the little cultural things is stuff that you can um, include into your classroom that just makes it a little bit more interesting for the students. I try to use music in my teaching and um, it's, it's fun, it's something interesting, and it's also, you can teach culture through that, you can teach vocabulary through that, so um, I'm excited because I got to learn some new songs too. One of the activities that I most enjoy is being able to walk through nature and listen to songs or uh, spoken texts in Spanish at a level that is not easily accessible. Although with the internet we have access to more, but here they're all gathered in one place. I loved walking around with the MP3 player. It was so beautiful out and so peaceful. And I loved listening to the songs that were just the peaceful songs. And then if they were fast, I just kind of walked faster and skipped around. And I enjoyed also the stories and the TV commercials that were on there. Uh, I was surprised how well I could understand them after all the practice I've had here. That was great. I enjoyed just walking around, listening to uh, uh, music in Spanish that I'd never heard before, and so that was relaxing. And this is a very beautiful place, so that was a great idea. That it allows us a little break so that you can go off and walk the grounds, and today's a beautiful day to go do that. That's actually quite exciting for me, um, but to get out there and enjoy the day, that I'm looking forward to that. And of course, the place is really important because we have the ability to be in a group in a room, but we also have the ability to experience nature and to uh, get away from our home environment. And that in itself is a sort of a mini vacation that at the same time it is an incredible opportunity for us to learn and develop as people. This Heartland Center is great. It's, it's, in a, it's in an ideal spot because it's near the highway, it's easy to access, but at the same time you feel like you really are out in the country and it really does feel like a retreat. Pero de metal que tienen como una cuchara hueca en, en, en la base y con eso vos filtras el agua. Oh, we have a, a, a great variety of speakers this time. They share the resources that they have at the University of Kansas. Cuando ya empezamos a analizar las estadísticas y si hay prueba que si está funcionando y que si están aprendiendo a you know, I love taking anything and saying like, oh, maybe I could do this or maybe I could do that. I'm really excited about the resources from KU because they have tons of stuff and I've used some of those resources before, but it was nice to hear it again because sometimes you just need like a little reminder. I didn't know about those websites. Those websites are, um, they seem phenomenal. There was just so many resources and lots of cultural stuff, but with readings and I mean, so much more stuff that you could do. KU and Johnson County Community College supplied a thousand dollars each. They got support from uh, a Title VI grant from the Department of Education 
and the publishing company, McGraw-Hill, uh, supplied $500. The instructors are spending $50 each, and it's like spending a weekend in a foreign country. In our faculty, we have people who are very well informed about several topics. I think that they do a great job sharing some kind of field or topic, and we all benefit from learning a little bit more about it. I loved um, Eugenio this morning talked about the history of Spanish and he's from Spain and he, he also talked about his life experience and he's traveled all over and his life story. He incorporated that into telling us about the history of Spanish and I just loved listening to him tell his stories and it was really nice. I loved when there was the mariachi band last night. We were gathered around the campfire and we were all uh, singing along and dancing. And of course, I just love just talking and making friends. And it's all in Spanish and everybody here is very interesting. And I've learned so much. <laughs> Esta experiencia es muy linda y um, es algo que todos los profesores de español deben hacer. I loved being around the campfire last night and singing with the mariachis. That was so much fun and just took me back to experiences with my family camping and being out in nature. And to me, this is just a big adventure. Oh, that was so much fun. That was really nice. My husband is Mexican and I sent him a text message. He said, what are you doing right now? I was like, we're listening to mariachis around a campfire. And he's like, what? <laughs> he was surprised and so, well so was I but I, it was really nice. Me encanta tener oportunidades de practicar mi español y de conocer gente, conocer de otras culturas y pues me ha encantado hasta ahora lo que he visto en, en esta experiencia. Once you're here, once you're doing it, you just feel like that's just how it is. It's, and you just jump right in and it feels right. And it's definitely the way to learn the language and to improve.
Oh, I would highly recommend this experience for people that want to practice their Spanish, for people that want to learn more about culture. Uh, I would recommend the facilities to anybody that was going to put on a, a retreat or a, you know, even a family reunion or something like that. I think it would be wonderful. For sure, I would definitely recommend this. I think it's um, important for us as teachers to continue developing professionally and especially being foreign language teachers to not just stay in our little world where we're teaching Spanish 1 or Spanish 2, but to challenge ourselves as well. And um, this is something where you can learn about other people, you can advance more in your own, personally, in your own study of the language. I would highly recommend this for anybody who's looking for an opportunity to practice Spanish, to live, eat, breathe with the language in a setting that's non-threatening. It's been a, a good combination both of being a challenge and also being an environment that's comfortable enough to speak and interact with people in another language, which is great fun. Este es un fin de semana fabuloso, con un tiempo magnífico y con una compañía muy especial y estamos muy contentos de estar aquí. Gracias.